Welcome everyone to more Tomb of Tino Ken for Tomb Raider 1. Now very carefully go up there and to shoot the gorillas that you see up there. Be careful that they don't push you off the edge. Also be careful that they don't push you into the spike pit. Jump forward, grab this ledge. Careful the spikes down below. And go into this room that I see right here. And to pick up the key. And to pick up the large health pack. Very carefully walk. Jump and land on the platform down below. And pop the key into the lock to rise the platforms out of the water and up into the air. Here's the gold key. You can hear the secret chime too. Now there's nothing in the water there, so don't worry about it. And if you fall in the water, you have to go swim back and to climb out back there and you have to do your hops all over again pick up the small health pack now you notice in the next room that you see right here there are a bunch of closed doors and one of the doors requires two key locks now in this room you're probably wondering where the two keys are well one of the keys is basically in behind this door that you see right here and there's also the one they see right up above me and to open those doors you basically gotta move push and move this movable block or pole and basically these tiles that have the weird writing on it basically opens the doors in this room by pulling the block onto this tile opens this door right here where you see the gorilla There's also some items to pick up in here. Now, for this tile right here, opens two doors. Opens the one above me. And opens this door at the end of the hallway that you see in front of me. <coughs> Another gorilla comes out. And the opening on the right over here is where you go to get one of the keys. Also be careful because of the teeth gate door that you see right here. I'm going to save my game here. Pick up the large health pack. Pick up the, the key. I know I'm saving quite a lot in this level. Well. Well, the flows are going to get harder and harder by the minute, so yeah, it's good to save your game quite often. Now, by pulling, pushing and moving the block onto this next tile, right here, opens this door right here. And four rats come out. There's also a small health pack in that room, too. Climb up onto this block and to shoot the rats.
pick up the small health pack. And by pushing and moving the block onto this tile, opens the last door. And the last door is where the other key is. Now as soon as you enter the room, you'll see a small health pack down below. But you don't want to pick it up just yet. There's a boulder on the left and right side. And if you go down there and pick up that small health pack, you'll have to reload your game back at the last save point. So, in other words, wait till the boulders are out of the way before you can pick up the small health pack. Run into the room, and immediately hop and make your way into the opening to pick up the key. After the boulders are done rolling, now you can go and pick up the small health pack. After you find the keys, now you want to place the keys into the locks. And unlock the door to continue on with the rest of the level. <coughs> These are the rusty keys that I found. For the keys in this level, there's two rusty keys plus two gold keys. Now this door opens. Now. Before you continue on with the rest of the level, by sliding down the slope, there's the second secret to get. And I recommend that you save your game here, because if you miss the secret, you'll have to reload your game at the last save point to get it. And the secret is basically very simple to get. You want to be in the, on the sides, not in the center. Run and jump on over this side right here. Just keep pressing jump. And you'll make it right on, on over here. Now, across the way is a secret, but you want to be careful of these breakaway tiles. And if you don't jump on and land on the next platform, and if these tiles fall, you will not. You'll have to start all over. You have to reload your game back to the last save point, and you cannot get to the ledge on, on over to the other side. The ledge is too high to get to climb up to get the items. So, I recommend that you save your game again here too before you do this. That way if you fall, if you don't make the next platform, you'll have to try again. It's just like the secret in the Colosseum level. Where to do the same technique, which is jump from, from side to side, forward and back, to get to the items. Now don't worry, don't worry if it takes you more than one try for the secret. And I made it on over here. Just keep trying until you get through this technique and to get the hang of it. After you pick up the secret items, slide down the rest the slope and to continue on with the rest of the level. There's a, also a crocodile in this water. Now you don't have to shoot the crocodile. But if you want to get him, you can. Now you can go that way to explore, but um, there's a door that's closed, and you have to go and um, pull a lever to open it. And I'll show you where that is. There's also a door underneath the tomb of the, um, the entrance over there, if you go and explore over there. You want to head this way first. Run and jump across. Now if you fall down, you have to go all the way around to get to get here. To get back here. And by pulling the switch opens the door that's underneath the tomb. And that tomb is basically the entrance to Tomb of Togiken. Fall down into the water. If you you can, now you can, however, run back the other way too. If you want to do it that way. This brings you out right on over here. 
I'm gonna end the, this video here, and I'll finish up this level in the next part. And the next part is the final video of the Grease levels. So I'll see you next part for the final level, final video part of the Grease levels. And to get the next guy on peace.